Welcome back lads and lassies, Jewel Death Lucario here, and welcome to some Pokémon Tournament Jewel Death 5, where we play someone in the Pokémon community in a first to five set, and have some fun with it. And, last week Age of Slash released, and this week, we're going to be playing against an Age of Slash for Jewel Death 5s. I've got Wingtide here, really fucking strong Garchomp from Germany, but he's also been going crazy for Age of Slash. Uh, and, I'm excited to play him. We played before, so... This isn't my first time fighting Age of Slash, it's not my first time fighting Wingtide, but it's my first time playing in a while. I'll see what I can do though. Punish that GX. Oh, that 2X. Oh, Togekiss, that's a new support. Yep, that's the tech. I played against Wingtide a couple of times, so I sort of know what I'm doing against Age of Slash. Patience! That's a lot of pushback on that. I'll get that grab. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry about my mic keep- my mic. My, um, capture card cutting out there. That's always annoying when that happens. It's not a dual death 5, so my mic isn't cutting out. Okay, mixing up there that time. Well, that's a new combo. Never seen that one before. Oh, God. Grabbing is bad. Am I dead? This is gonna be hard to come back from, though. Ah, uh, DP. Oh well. It's, almost, it's not on Jewel Death 5 if my capture card isn't cutting out. I need to take down the scores. I've done quite well in coming back in that second round though. But yeah, Wing Tide is a very solid age slash. And while I have played the matchup, I don't have a ton of experience in it. So we'll see what we can do for the next game. Ugh. I do also plan to get another Agent Slash player that I'm going to play Shadow Mewtwo with. Just so we can get some ideas of that. I've played Shadow Mewtwo Age of Slash as well. I 
need to stop doing that. That's not grab punishable. Come on, Jill. Oh, why didn't that wall splat? And why didn't I go for 2Y? The 6X. That would have been more... 6Y. God damn. That would have been more damage. I forgot the just frame that might have killed. Ah, oh, the flash cannon. I need to watch. I need to watch. Yep, that! Damn! That 6x's range is so deceptive. Got him. Yeah, when Aegis Lash is enhanced with an attack up, I just noticed Aegis Lash was lying there after that round. But when Aegis Lash has an attack up, his 6x has a fucking deceptive range. You think, oh, I'm out of range of that? Nope. That's one thing you need to learn about Aegis Lash, the match, the Aegis Lash matchup. Uh, the 6x range. Ah, I jumped too late. You can jump that if you jump to full height and then I can punish it with a GX. That's it. See what I mean? Big damage. You might have to pop burst here. I could have maybe grabbed there. I could have maybe grabbed there as well. Can I block in time? Oh yeah, I can't do that against Wing Tide. That's not that counter pierces. Ah, oh, I could have punished that a little better. That should be dead though. One all. Oh, no, the thing is, like, Aegis Lashy's homing attack, you can and go for the first set of homing and then go for Fury Cutter. But if Aegis Lash has the attack boost, you can get three hits. And I'm not sure how exactly it works, but I think, like, you can grab in between the second and the third hit, but I'm not sure, because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I'll try and show that off in this round. I'll try grabbing after his homing. And I'll try it all. I think it might have something to do with the just frames. I'm not exactly sure. Like if he nails the just frames and I can't grab him. And the thing about the just frames is I can't react to him going for them. So I just have to guess. Is the grab going to work or is it going to get crushed? Because I can't counter attack because it overrides my counter attack and pierces it. Let's see what I can do. But he needs an attack up to go for that option. Yep, the parry. That's a 4Y, and to shield through, he missed it. Oh. See, I don't know really how to oh, punish above that um, 6X and shield form is. I, need to, I can't do that against Wing Tide, because he knows how to perfect block that. Ah, I missed. I didn't jump high enough. Am I dead? Probably will be with that attack up. Nope, I'm living. Right. 50-50. Got the correct read. I wasn't sure if I could punish that, but I didn't want to risk it. No, no, no. I was thinking... I was thinking, bro, I can punish that. He's jumped. Oh, that move. Oh, God. 
The thing about that 4x, when he's got an enhance, it counter pierces, so I can't see DC through it. My only way to beat it is to throw level 2 aura spheres, and then we'll trade. Ah, uh, I was expecting the forward Y, that's why I tried to side homing. I could have punished that. Oh, the goddamn Sacred Sword missed. I'm getting out of here. What was that? I could have went for a 6x. Like, could you homing so I can try this? No? Oh, okay. I just dash up grabs, help me. Okay, my capture card has been a bitch a lot of times, but this time is just ridiculous. So, at least that, thanks to the record feature, we're not missing out on any of these games. But a lot of them are now got- but half of them don't have commentary. Nice. Thanks, capture card. Alright, let's see what I can do, though. I'm gonna grab that for once. Because I keep going for Bone Rush and he keeps punishing it. That was a terrible play for me. I 
I delete that a little bit. Can't do the optimal because he lost his uh, attack buff. Ah, the 6x. See? I grabbed him right there. Uh-oh. You know what? Fuck it. Actually, no, no. Don't fuck it yet. Let's wait. I wanted to wait out his arm um, attack buff. There we go. I could have finished him there. <laughs> he mistimed that. I wanted to run out his attack buff before I popped burst. Sad face. So my capture card is going all right now, but I'm not going to hold my breath. That looks like a grab punish over a bone rush punish. Actually, yeah, that does make sense, now that I think about it. Nope. He does that to me all the time. I tried to side homing. Oh lord, big damage. Yeah, you might have been wondering, but Joe Lucario, he was in shield form there, how did you hit him? Age of Slash has vulnerable frames after when he whiffs an attack or goes for a move. And that's when you hit him. Here's the thing about Age of Slash in shield form, just wait. Just block and wait for him to throw something out that you can punish. Because, think about it, he can't grab you when he, he's in shield form. Yeah, good thing I grabbed the downswing now. Every... Well, at least my capture card should hold up for a bit. I think, I think it's not meant to crash like the way it does, but the way I'm, but like I'm opening it and there's another way I could do it. So you just wait. And I decided to counter because of the homing. Oh. We go right over that sacred sword. Let's go. N. Okay, fair enough. I'm going for the wrong punish. I should be 2 Ying his um 6x. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Just wait. Because the moment... Ah yeah, I should have done that. That was a little obvious. Watch my health bar disappear. Ow! Ah, oh, that was bad. I saw that forward Y and I tried to punish it but I was too far away. I should have CDC'd and just ran in. He, if he doesn't have an attack buff, I shouldn't grab him. Punish that 2x, that 6x. That move has a lingering hitbox. Really? See, I think that moves plus his 6x. For I know I can uh, GY it, but I can't do that in reaction. You're not going to grab me. He is going to grab me! If I take that, I would have 
got my burst. Oh god. Ah, when I tried to beat the arm. Okay. Really, bro? Thanks for the Jirachi. Bruh. You tried. Spacing, what is it? That was garbage. That was garbage. Did he have iframes on that? I think he did. Well, that is 2-4. So I think that's set point. It's a little hard because my because of my capture card cutting out, I've struggled to keep up with the games, but I'm pretty sure that's set point. I am pretty sure we are on set point. Okay, so... Really, it's not me getting beat by Aegis Slash, it's triggered me. It's my capture card constantly cutting out. That was bad. That was risky for me. Ah, uh, I didn't think he would commit to that. But I guess he doesn't have a lot of reason not to, because he goes into shield form. Oh, come on. That move is plus, it must be, because I mashed there and I couldn't get it out. It's fine with me, no? I drop shield! Ah, oh, that lingering hitbox! Got him. Don't know if he tried to parry there. Thought we did. Parrying is fucking cool. Or guard impact, whatever you want to call it. And anyone who can pull it off consistently is awesome. Well, that was weird. I delayed my 6x Oki. I didn't, I didn't make it meet it because I, wanted, because I thought he would parry. Uh oh. No, thank you. You ain't getting that burst. You are dead. <laughs> oh my lord, that was... That was a comeback. We're making this comeback. I'm going to win the next two games. Watch. I kind of went really aggressive there. That was awesome. Yeah. I don't think... I know I need to get ready for the Sheffield Regionals very soon, but I doubt there will be any Age of Slashes there that will pose a major threat to me. I mean, really, the only person I know in Europe who plays Age of Slash, seriously, is Wing Tide himself, but if he goes to tournament, he'll probably bust out Garchomp. He could also bust out his Machamp. He's good with the champ too. Okay, I was expecting up. A... Fucking two fucking low stance. I actually thought that was coming. I should have actually went for a five X, because that's how I could beat two. Got him. I did not mean to commit to that bone rush, but it works out for me. That was not optimal anyway, I could have went for a bone rush after the... I 
Imagine that you mean that. I did not actually mean to go for the back Y. I meant to go for a neutral Y. Can we just talk about the fact that when Aegislash loses a round? Not the game, a round. And the way he falls to the ground is so sad. Okay, fair enough. I could have maybe beaten that. Ah, I ran right into that. Oh god. I'll take a grab. Oh god. Help me. That was a bad bone rush. I should have waited. Or extreme speedies. Oh lord. I should have jumped. Because this stuff doesn't have that many good anti-airs. I got the vulnerable frames. I could have grabbed them. I could have grabbed them. I should have grabbed them. I'm getting a little serious here. Whoa. Okay, he tried to perfect block that, but it fucked up for him. I'm just going to go for the 2Y instead of a 2X. Because that's not been confirming all the time. Maybe I should extreme speed after his, he goes for 6X in shield form. I don't know if I could have actually fully committed to that homing. Oh god, I'm in the corner. I don't want to be in the corner. That range. Hmm. That is going to do no damage though because of scaling. But he does have the attack up. How much is this going to do? Nothing, I bet. Not a lot. He did not just walk up and grab. Did you really just walk up and grab? He did. He actually did. If I tech that, I would have been fine. Because I would have actually won that round and won that game and then we would have went to a 4. It was 5-3. Alright then. Oh well. GG's to Wing Tide. That was fine. We got our Age of Slash games. I will be getting another set against another Age of Slash player of the... With Shadow Mewtwo next week. Well, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to let me know if I like and a comment. And if you want to see more Pokemon Tournament DX action, hit that subscribe button. Shout out to Wingtide. GG for my man. Thank you for the games. I'm Joel Fucario. I'll see you on the next one.